Hey everybody, RC here. Wanted to share with you guys a quick tip on how to be able to install Nix software inside of Photoshop CC. Now, inside of Photoshop CS6, it's pretty straightforward, right? It shows up under the filter collection. But a lot of the times what's happening is with people installing CC, that's not available to them inside of that list. Now, if you look at mine, it is available. So what's the difference? How do you work with this? Well, this may be something that you might have to manually force an install on. Let me show you how to do that. You'll double click on your NIC installer. Make sure that you have the NIC installer available to you, right? Make sure that you download it. They probably would have sent that to you in an email. And once you have that, go ahead and just double click on the NIC collection. Now, that's going to run the installer and just as if it would, you know, just any other normal installer that you would have. But the difference is that you're not going to necessarily see the program for Photoshop CC listed. You may or may not. I'm going to bet that you're not. Now, it's going to install the Nix software. That's fine. I'm going to accept the terms. So you see CS6, Bridge CS6, Lightroom 4. CC doesn't show up. So it may or may not show up, depending on whether or not you have CS6 installed, or how the computer's behaving, or whether or not you've set up some sort of custom location. Doesn't matter. What I would do is I would just focus on this plus sign. Click on the plus sign, and then navigate to your applications directory. You could either do this through you know, Windows, or you could do this through Mac. It says the exact same thing. But go to where you have Photoshop CC installed. In there, I want you to highlight the plugins folder. Once you have the plugins folder highlighted, just click on open. It's going to show up as Adobe Photoshop Custom 1. That's completely okay. Once you do that, just go ahead and click on install. All right, put in your password. And once this completes, it's going to extract the files. It's going to put the files into that one area. Once that finishes installing, you should be able to see Nick Collection right there in the filter menu. Now, if you want to keep up with anything else that I'm working on, you can always just follow me over at aboutrc.com. You can also follow me on Google Plus over at gplusrc.com. Take care, everybody.